everyone, it's Casper up here with Richard. Sorry if my appearance is like so oh, scary. My hair does what it wants. And today it just feels like not being cooperative. Anyways, so, um, ta da! <laughs> Look at this! Richard's face! Woo! <laughs> He finally has a space. He finally looks more like a man than he did before. Oh, I'm dropping him already. Okay. He's wearing pants. If you've noticed, not naked. I made these pants yesterday. And they're really crappy. Like, <laughs> the, the, Honestly, they're just makeshift pants because he's supposed to have regular pants, but I don't know how long that's going to take to get here. So I just made him some temporary pants. Nor this fluffness. I need to like so that. I did it really weird. I didn't, I wanted him to have like tight legs at the bottom, but not at the top because his thighs are huge. So what I did was, I don't know, I just kind of like folded the fabric and and like sewed it onto itself up to here and then I used another piece of fabric and then connected it with the original fabric. It's really weird how I did it. So now it's like poofy right here. All I have to do is sew this together like here. Oh yeah, and this is for the waist because I can't figure out the waist yet. But just sew that in. But I was just, I was tired. I was doing it for quite some time. I was just tired so I didn't finish it. And his waist um it's hard to figure out for me because if it's not big like this and I like make it actually a little bit lower so it's on like here when he sits even like right now it his butt is kind of weird so it like goes it like slides down into his like butt crease thing. It's hard to explain. I kind of don't want to demonstrate it because then I'd have to pull it back out. Anyways, that is what that is. So I'm figuring it out bit by bit. Oops. Oh, he decided he didn't want to put his arm down. And uh, yeah, figuring it out bit by bit. I was trying to look online to see if they have any patterns for him, but I realized my printer, I don't know if it's too small or I'd have to get long, really long paper because his legs are gigantic and the print wouldn't even fit on a regular piece of paper. So I guess I've been mostly doing trial and, well, I've been doing trial and error. So we'll see how that is. It's kind of harder to, for some reason, at least for me, to sew for my SDs. Because I made, actually a lot of the clothes my MSDs wear, I've actually made. So it's just easier to make them stuff. So for this, it's like, ooh. And I, I should invest in a sewing machine. I was thinking of doing it soon, getting a sewing machine, but I don't know. I don't know. I think it'd definitely be easier, probably. Anyways, back to the reason I whole started this video is his face. His face. I'll let you guys look at it some more. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> look at his face some more. Look at his face. His beautiful face. Oh. Oh. You can't see in this lighting, but his cheeks even have a little bit of color. I don't know if you can kind of see it. His cheeks got a little bit of color. On this side, I kind of messed up. And there's like a dark patch. Because actually, I don't know how I managed this, but I sprayed his face so many times. But I still managed to chip it. I have no idea how. I just was looking and I'm like, oh, I chipped a piece. What do I do? And I'm like, I guess I could just add some more. And... I accidentally like somehow blew a different color into it so like this part right there it's really small you can't really even notice even a person I guess you notice it a bit but it's it's really not like oh my god the face up is ruined so I was like ah oh, whatever I didn't want to wipe out the entire side to redo that one spot because my symmetry is not that good so if I redid it it would probably look really bad <laughs> I'm working on that, but that was basically what happened with his cheek. But I like it. If anything, I'd put in the story that he has bruised. And that's the end of it. Oh no. I just realized. 
So every time I have a video with him, I'm like, oh, I just realized this on him. And I just realized this. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at his back. I don't know, I'm always like examining my dolls in these videos. Anyways, last time, the whole reason, I don't know if I should do his body. Because his body's really nice without any blushing. But... I don't know if I could do it justice. And he is a lot of resin. Ooh, he is a lot. So blushing his body would probably take a good two hours, maybe more. It's not like MSDs where it takes like an hour and a half. Well, hour and a half actually trying to make it look nice. Maybe like an hour if I'm just doing it really fast and I don't really care because no one's gonna see their body anyway. So, yeah. I'm just so surprised that this face came, like I did this face. I can't, like I'm in just shock. I sprayed it so many times because I'm like, I can't believe I made this face. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's not super original. Like he, he has like our unique, like oh, you know. I'm like wiggling his hips. It's not super unique. I was thinking of like maybe putting like a like a bruise. Well, he has that little bruise on there now, but I was thinking of like maybe putting that. You know how guys sometimes cut their eyebrows, <laughs> like a line in it to look cool. I'm like maybe I should do that, but I'm like no, I really don't want to. Richard wouldn't do that. It's not part of his personality. So yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna see what he looks like with the wig. Let's see if that still works or not. And I don't know if you guys can tell. How about the symmetry thing? His eyebrows are not symmetrical. Look, this eyebrow is like on point or on fleek or whatever he wants to use. That point eyebrow is like whoop, whoop, whoop. And then there's this eyebrow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I laugh at it every time. <laughs> and the thing is, every time when I was doing it, every time I'm like, okay, his eyebrows don't match, so I'd erase it, do it again. I'm like, his eyebrows don't match, and it's even worse. So I do it again, and it got even worse. Every time I kept trying to redo it, it kept getting worse and worse and worse. So it ended up being like this, and I was like, you know what? I'm not touching it anymore. <laughs> I'm leaving it like that before it gets any worse. So, uh, thanks for watching, and if you saw my messy room video, yeah, that was the mess, that was my mess. I, I honestly, guys, I'm not a dirty person, I actually clean, it's just, sometimes things get out of hand when it comes with mess, and you, when you don't have time to clean stuff up in your room, that's what happens. Like, other places, I actually, like, I cleaned the house, I cleaned everything. But then it came to my room, and I don't know, it just takes me forever to clean it, because I have to organize everything. I have to go all out. So, yeah. It's either all in or none at all. So, I have to, yeah. I, pretty much it takes me a day to clean it, because I have to organize, like, everything. And, yeah, which is, it's just weird. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and listening to me babble for a while about this boy and messiness and all this stuff. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video, which will probably maybe be his body being blushed if I do it, or something related to Dorothy, or all that stuff, and, oh, sorry, I'm trying to end this, but I keep adding stuff. I did something bad, not really bad, but I did something, I said, like, maybe, like, a video go that I'm like so satisfied with all the resin I have I don't need any more and then I got another one <laughs> um he or it's actually I'm gonna make it a slight surprise maybe I uh, know I'm not gonna be surprised it's uh, actually yeah it, it is gonna be a surprise I'm just gonna say the name is Charles Charles Mendez is the name and Charles is a short form I'll say the full name when this character gets here. And also, I have Sunny. I never mention it, but Sunny's real name is not Sunny. Well, it's not her birth name. She changed it to Sunny. But her actual name is Sunny.
Francesca Hanamori. That is her like birth name, but she, she cut that off. Sunny. That's all she is. She changed her name to just Sunny. No last name, no nothing. It's just Sunny. So that's basically that. I guess. And I guess I'd explain in another video how she even gets away with that. Because, like, how could you get away with not having a last name? How's that even allowed in the law and stuff? I'll explain it eventually. And I don't know the backstory of why she doesn't go by her birth name as yet. She hasn't told me. She doesn't talk about it. Even I wrote a little fan fiction with some characters, some, some dolls of other people from other people's channels. And I... For that like you know that pen pal thing that i mentioned i'm actually working on that but i'm waiting for some envelopes to come in because i want to actually send a copy to you guys so you guys and like something like that and if you're not interested then fine but I'm, i'll be like asking like hey do you have a p.o box because i want to send you something and it's probably my fan fiction <laughs> and, and then maybe someone will be like my character would never say that and i'll be like sorry Oh well. <laughs> in the story that I created, they say that. So yeah, they, in one of the fan fiction things I created, um, they asked. She was asked about like Sunny. So is that like um, a nickname or? And she just doesn't say anything. She just, she just completely ignores the question. If anyone ever asks about her name, she just ignores them. So yeah, that is it. One last last time, showing his face. It's so beautiful. All right. Bye, guys.